Some viewers may find some of this footage offensive. Frank, the, the ten. The ten. We called you. He got very close to saying it. He got very close to saying it, but he did not say it. So we got very close to saying it. How did you get close to saying it? How do you think? What do you think? What? So, so I'm, I'm supposed to assume that he's going to say it? I mean, I, I have an idea, but I can't go off an assumption. Our players, we're blind, and I trust yeah. my player 100%. I, I, can't, I can't accept that. My players ain't going to break. Let's just talk this out. They're not going to break. There's two minutes to talk. Let's set the president. My, my personal opinion is, yeah, that everyone looks at us to come up to pitch, yeah? I understand. When we're playing, when we're playing for real, it's hard to come up to pitch because we're so competitive. It's competitive here, but let's make a stand on it, my personal opinion, because what just happened there... Disgrace. He can't say, oh, I went to say it and didn't. He said it. If, Matt, if he said and he said it, why, let's make a statement. He's done something that he shouldn't have done. The whole team should suffer. They got to be kicked out. I'm not accepting, I'm not playing the game. I'm, you lot can play if you want. I'm not playing. I'm I'm, if you do it, I'm done. And if you lot are with me, cool. If you're not, I'll never judge you. No disrespect. You don't know what it feels like to be racially abused. You don't know what it feels like. But you can understand it from hearing the tone of my voice. You can understand how much it hurts. Sorry, lad, I don't mean to speak for everyone, but it's passionate, The incident happened to me, personally. Yes. Obviously, one, I want to thank my teammates in general for backing me and having my back, you know, at the time. Uh, you know, having the night to think about it, you know, in the two minute, three minute spell that it, it happened, you know, a lot of things were going through my mind as in how to respond. The way we went about it, I thought was the correct way and we've done the right thing. So I appreciate, I appreciate everyone here, including all the staff as well. So I appreciate you. Also yourselves obviously coming to speak to us after, after the game. Um, and, you know, hearing us all out, obviously Anton spoke out and Carlton and, you know, Wardy and a few of the boys all spoke out. And I think it's quite important that you heard everyone, everyone's you know, point of view of how they thought things should have gone forward with their decision making going on forward today. So we appreciate you as well coming out that day and also today coming out to speak to us. Because you, you run a company, a business, you don't actually have to be here and speak to us. You, you could potentially pass it over and you know, maybe not make the decision that's the right decision. And for us, we feel like now you have made the right decision. Frank, anytime you need to speak, bro, I'm here, man. You might not catch up with you now, but I might catch up with you later. You know, so anytime you want to speak, I'm here, man. You know, you've got the full support of everyone here, you know? And um, so, we got you, man. Well, we heard from Frank Noble in that footage. He joined us earlier on Good Morning Sports Fans, and he shared his hopes that highlighting such incidents can lead to long-term change. I'm not saying that I'm anyone, you know, famous or big names, but obviously I was, I was representing a, a massive club, a club that's, you know, known around the world. So for it to be shown on, on their local TVs and, and in, Amer in, in America, um, I thought it was brilliant that everyone could see that, listen, there's still problems out there. There's still people who are ignorant enough not to respect, you know, another human being. And it shown some light on it. And listen, if it had to be me, it had to be me. I think I said that in, in, in the documentary as well, that I'm, you know, I'm glad it happened to, to one of us that, you know, we can represent uh, some sort of change, you know, be it one person that realises, listen, that's not right. You know, that's, that's, that'll make all the difference because it, can, it happens all every day of life. You know, it's not just to my race or anyone's race. You know, we're all one and we've, we've got to come as, as one. Anton Ferdinand, alongside current West Ham players Ben Johnson and Mikhail Antonio, also watched the footage back this week and we asked them what they made of it. To be honest, I'm not surprised by it. Um, one thing in football, uh, especially when you're playing abroad, there's always going to be a bit of racism coming around. Um, I do feel like there means more zero tolerance around it. I don't feel like there's enough um, punishment when it comes to racism. It's going to bring up and, and open up old wounds, of course. Um, the only way to describe it is, what, is watching uh, Vinicius Juno in his, in his um, press conference a few weeks ago. Uh, just takes him back to the actual incident of when it happened and, and dealing with it on the day. 
and putting on the front, you know, and, and, and trying to help my teammates and the club and the staff within the club that was there do things the right way, tr trying to draw on all of my experiences um, from my own, um, my own journey with racism within football and, and outside of football to then going into my room that night and feeling exactly how Vinicius did, you know, but I just done it um, off camera and done it when I was by myself in my room, you know, and, but that's the length that it, takes, that it takes you to. I think a lot of people don't realise and understand the repercussions of, of racism and how it can make you feel. And it ain't even just the people that are racially abused, it's people that are around it, you know, that can have a massive effect on, on them. And it surely did for me on that day and still continues to do so just watching it. What it feels like to have to be black, to be looked upon differently, um, and I've heard so many stories, different scenarios similar to to that one um, on the pitch, off the pitch, and for it to happen is so so disappointing, especially when people there know exactly how it feels like on a huge scale. Um, but yeah, I think it's not a good look if it, if it doesn't surprise me and it's something that kind of gets brushed under the carpet.